Hey everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today I'll be showing you how to install Nova SPE for Saints Row 2. Nova SPE is a mod by Ryan Saint that adds a numerous amount of new features and alterations to the game. Just a handful of these include new weapons, gangs, cribs, and even story missions. Being such a complex mod, it could be somewhat tricky to install everything properly, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. So before we can install Nova SPE, we're going to need Gentlemen of the Row. If you already have this mod, please skip to this timestamp. Anyways, go online and search idleninja.com or head to the link down in the description. Now on the site, click on Downloads and scroll down to download Gentlemen of the Row version 1.9.2. While Gentlemen of the Row is downloading, we can now go to saintsrowmods.com for Nova SPE. At the front page, go down to Saintro 2 forums and click on Mod Releases. Nova SPE should be near the top of the first page. Here you can check out all the juicy details of this mod, but for now, scroll down to the bottom of the first post to download it. Once you have both mods downloaded, extract them to your desktop and open both folders next to each other. Next, go in the Gentleman of the Row and open the Optional Mod Stuff folder. Now open the folder Modders Put Your Own Personal Mods Here. This is going to be the destination where we place all the Nova SPE files we want. For example, let's add Sintra 1 animations to the game. Head over to the Nova SPE folder and open Animations, Animation Pack, then Sintra 1 animations. We're going to copy all the files in here except for the text document, then paste them into the Modders Put Your Own Personal Mods Here folder. Now go back and copy and paste the preload animation file, and you're set. Basically, whatever features of this mod you want included in your game, you only need to copy over their files. For another example, let's open the customization folder. Just as a heads up, the new outfit content may crash your game, so keep that in mind if you run into problems later starting Saints Row 2. Open the homies folder, then open the folder of any homie that you want customized. Now copy and paste the files over, just like before. Once you know what you want in this mod, it's fairly simple to set up. One problem you may run into is two separate features with the same name files. An example of this can be choosing a theme and an alternate main menu. Since they both have UI main menu files, you can only choose one of the two. Once you've placed all the files you want in the game, it's time to patch them in. Go to the first page of the Gentleman of the Row folder and open Create Custom Gentleman of the Row. For this tutorial, we won't be messing with any of these options and only patching in the files by pressing P and Enter. After the program is finished, open the My Custom Patch folder where your newly made patch files will be found. The last thing you need to do is place these files inside the Saintro 2 root folder. I find that the quickest way to reach the root folder is by going to your Steam library and right-clicking on Saintro 2. Go down and click on Properties, Local Files, then Browse Local Files. This will open your root folder and you can now place the files inside. You may get a message saying the files already exist in the folder. Just select Copy and Replace and you're done. Start up Saintro 2 and enjoy Nova SPE. Well everyone, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Like always, thank you for watching, and if you'll please excuse me, I have to get back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Extra, extra, read all about it! Extra, extra, read all about it! Extra, eh, huh? Oh, hello, sir. Thank you, sir.